Oh my god, Sutton is above me. <laughs> Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing Summer of 58. Let's begin. Sometimes we'll, people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those who brought them to this. And in order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton and we are getting started. Oh, okay, this is gonna be fun. Do we? Oh, oh shit. Oh my god, we just go right in. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not moving this, so. <gasps> Bastard. Oh. Oh shit. Someone has been graffitiing a lot here. Blood. This is creepy. I searched all the corners but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumours that the locals have been talking about for so many years are true. They say that these are dead ghosts, uh, sorry, ghosts of dead people in this place at the hands of one of the residents. He himself was never found. The bodies of these people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow you to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumours are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping my tradition, I close the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. And I'm staying here for a few nights recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things and food with me so we have nothing else <laughs> oh I don't know if that was in... oh I don't like that oh that was creepy as shit <laughs> oh oh so we need to explore the camp and get rid of that okay cool uh it's very dirty all these dishes mm, can't pick up anything here Oh, what's that? Can I bend down? I can. What's this? I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary. Okay, I don't... Do I have one? So we can't read that. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Can't pick up anything there. Maybe there'll be something in here. Nope, let's go over here. We can't move these. The fuse is blown, there is no light in the building. Okay, so there is no light. Okay. I can't seem to run or anything. Do I have some sort of torch? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, well, clearly there was kids here because there's like lots of kids toys. Did someone feed the cats here? Oh, there's cats. Okay, maybe they can be my friend. Oh, look, there's like gas masks. Ooh. Okay. Can't get through there. What's 
that squeaking noise? Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is really unnerving. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, okay, take that. Okay, um, hold down the middle mouse and zoom. Okay, what's this? Ah, right. I was translating some Russian books. In college, I took a Russian English dictionary and helped me with translation I found it on the local market. Okay, cool. We can go and read that thing now. Is that always there? Either way. Okay. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands and poured water over her. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pyjamas, all wet, and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Oh my god. Ugh, how do I get the camera back up? Ugh. Okay. Right, there we go, we've got the camera back on. This is creepy as shit and I don't like it, I am already terrified. Oh, what's this? Okay, some sort of boat thing. I don't like it, oh my god, I don't like this, I don't like this, I'm so frightened, oh my god. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees of the UNOST Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955 under the leadership of Director Maria Antolovina. A. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is is not known. So, which one is his locker? Is it... was it this one? It must have been this one. It seems to be the only thing that's in there. So, was he in a boat? Oh my god, I am fucking terrified. I don't like it. I am so scared. <laughs> Maybe it'll be for here. Oh wait, there's something there. Okay. Oh, what's that? Is this something? Oh my god, it's not even funny how quiet it is. I, I'm s oh, oh. Oh my god, my heart is going like a mile a minute. I'm not. Oh no, I don't like it. It's oh no. Many newspapers. Can I look at this one? No, I can't. <gasps> but what's that? I can't touch that. Oh, I, I, do you know what? See the folk that go to these. I couldn't. In 1958, towards the end of the summer, parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one. Only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in the search for the missing children, but all in vain. Oh, fuck this shit. Am I just to walk around here the whole time? I, I, I can't go anywhere else. It must be. Oh, what's this? I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her. My friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh right, okay. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. I don't like it. I don't like this at all. I don't like it. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. A play park thing. I'm so frightened. <laughs> okay, I can't pick whatever that is up. I'm so scared to like turn the camera and there's going to be something like behind 
me. Yeah, I was going to say, like, anybody that comes to these kind of places, you know, to to explore, I, I like the sound of it and everything, like, oh, that sounds really fun to go to, but honestly, God, like, just playing the simulation of it, like, a game, hell no, it is too frightening for me, I would be so scared, I'd probably die, <laughs> honestly. Oh, oh, cat! Uh. It'll be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Oh God, where are the candles? Maybe the cat opened this. Oh shit! Uh. Why is it those alarms going off? Hi, I'll take that. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's children. Okay, they must be the scary ghosts coming for me later. Why is the air siren going off? That's not good. What does that mean? <gasps> that doll! That was there before! <gasps> Wait a minute! That was at the window! Yeah! That doll thing was here. It was sitting right here. Oh, maybe the doll's a baddie. Why am I in here? Like, why am I exploring here? Whoever this guy subscribers, they're assholes. <laughs> no hell and way would I come here. Oh, need to find her a need to find a lighter or matches. Oh. Do I have a lighter? I guess not. So we'll need to find matches. Matches. Where could we find matches? Because I'm an idiot and didn't bring any with me. So I spent a few nights. Why? Like, I don't know where they are. <gasps> the bunny's gone! Okay, the bunny's totally a baddie. Fuck knows how, but it totally is. I bet it's possessed by one of the kids. Right, I don't think it's any of this here. Oh, wait a second. I just realised this is where the wee girl was in the bathroom. Oh, there's a match. Eh, uh, a lighter rather. Oh, Jesus. The lighter's almost empty. I can't always use it. Fuck. <gasps> I can light the candles. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Yeah. What's gonna happen now? Now I can spread out my sleeping bag. Okay. Done. Need to prepare for the night. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh, night one! How many bloody nights is there? Jesus Christ! Like, I am already frightened. <laughs> I've just begun! Oh! Okay. I don't have my camera because it's like right there. Fuck this shit. Okay, so it's just in here. Oh, that door's shut. Okay, now, now what? that bunny rabbit again oh okay so <laughs> that's a creepy ass doll like that is creepy as shit I do not want to go near that I can't get that book It looks like I'm going to summon something. Oh my god, what if we actually end up doing that? 
I got I really, really hope we don't. So what is? Oh, God, it was just a bit of dust. It was a bit of dust. <laughs> Oh, why are we here? Why are we here? Oh, this is terrifying. What the fuck? A dead bird? What the hell? <gasps> oh shit, hell no. We're leaving that shit on. Oh my god, there's tons of birds! What the hell? I didn't notice these before. Uh oh, what the hell? Oh, who's this? It's creepy, it is freaking creepy. Maybe she was one of the counsellors or something at the camp? Like, you know, one of the adults looking after the kids? Oh my god. Oh, this is awful. Oh, this is so creepy. That wasn't like that before, I don't think. Oh my god. Oh, fuck this. Duh! Oh my god. There's that rabbit. It's all the. Oh no, 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 no. I can't go down this way because you blocked it. <gasps> hey, let me in my room. Oh my god, they locked me out. Go away. Go away, go away, go away. No. Oh, no, there's that rabbit's away again. That I can't get in. Peter just made a notification noise and I got such a fright. It's telling me it's raining tomorrow. It always rains in frickin' Scotland. No worry about that. <laughs> oh shit. Where'd I go? Like, oh shit, it's back there again. Can I bend down to touch it? No, I can't. Okay, there's a vent up here. Nothing up here. What about this newspaper? Oh, I can touch this. I can't read what it says. I need to get my Russian English dictionary, but it's in the room. I don't have it on me. I can't pick that up. I can't get back in the room. No, it's actually locked. I think, anyway. No, I can't drag it. It's, like, closed. Okay, some sort of playground. Can 
try to touch any of this stuff? No. Can I touch this? Nope. Okay. Nothing I can do. I don't even know where to go, like... Ring in. Who the fuck is that? Hello? Oh! I was hit on the head, apparently. I got a notification saying I was hit on the head! <laughs> here. I'm in a different room. But my Russian English dictionary is still back with my bag. <laughs> okay. Was that something that just went past there? I thought somebody walked by. Let's pick up something here. Uh, what's this? Oh. Alright, so it's a class of kids and they're going to play football, it seems. I'm guessing this is going to be the next night now. Oh, a pigeon! Hello! Hello, Mr. Pigeon. Oh, you got some seeds. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I need my English dictionary again. But where's my bag, is the question. Oh! This is one of the rooms! Right, okay. Right, so my stuff's back there. Right. Um, can we go through here? It doesn't seem like it. Is that... Oh my god, is that a carcass? There's a dead cat over there! Ew! Ugh. That's so gross. Where's my camera? It's there. On the floor! Oh. Okay. I'm my Russian English dictionary. You're not welcome here. That'd be the one that battered me on the head. I'll take this. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Oh well, I don't need that on the now. It's morning time. So someone was calling on the phone. I wonder if I can read this. No. I think I read this one already, so we'll just leave that. Okay. Uh, well, we've investigated there, so we're going to go in this room and we're going to investigate it. Can't really see anything here. Oh, wait a second. There's a newspaper over Yakov. Hello? Someone humming. <laughs> Holy shit. Indeed. Need to look in this room. I swear to god there was someone humming. And it sounded like it was coming from in here. There's someone here, I can hear them humming. The director of the pioneer camp, Yunost, Maria. Antolovina A disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. So she'd be the camp counsellor. I'm guessing it's that woman that was in the picture, so that's probably what that is. 
That's it. That's sorry. That's probably who that is. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I think it's in a newspaper down here. Oh, there's more pigeons. Someone's killing animals here. <gasps> Wait a minute. There was a cat in here. I'm sure there was a cat. There was a cat sitting here, lying down, and now it's not there anymore. Oh. I think the humming stopped as well. The humming stopped. Oh, that's freaky. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, I've not finished the part looking around the room. Okay. There's dead birds. A box. Light bulbs. Oh, what's this? Rummage, rummage, rummage. Oh, I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm taking it with me. Nice. Actually, taking it with me. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. I shall. No! I was just thinking in my head, nothing's going to happen just now because <laughs> it's daytime, but nope. Oh, right. Put it down then. Dude, how'd you put the thing down? Oh, okay, it just automatically does it. There we go. Bloody hell. <sighs> okay, right, we're gonna go to the other room. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yes, we're going to go in this room and have a wee wonder. Now. What's this? Oh yes, that was that. Uh, is there anything else I can read in here? I'm sure I've seen some- there was a note, so that's what it was. Late at night, when people fall asleep, no need for fun and no need for a fool, and the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The, cu the curators do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough, and he, that night, wearing a sad suit, poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Okay. I don't really understand. I'm guessing it's to do with the fact is I don't think the fool's a stupid, or a fool, and he will come and slaughter you, I guess. bit morbid if that's what it is but <gasps> I thought for a second that was someone sleeping there oh my god oh oh ah uh? no hmm oh my god this this game is really scary <laughs> Uh, I don't know if there's anything else really of interest in here that I've come across anyway that I can see. Okay, something over the radio. Oh, I can go closer. Right, I can, did not get that. Nothing to do with the radio. The radio doesn't seem to work. That's creepy. Oh, a playground. Um, merry-go-round thing. Okay. I don't like how the camera goes off. It's so creepy like that. Like the, the light goes off and uh, it's all dark and scary and spooky. Oh, please don't anyone run through the corridor. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> don't like that. Okay, there's nothing else that I can see that is um, worthwhile checking out. I think everything's just the same as it was yesterday, apart from obviously a couple of rooms that are open. But let's go and check in here. Because that's where that ghost thing went.
Hmm. That picture is away. Oh! Okay, more playground stuff. I wonder what this means. What if this is where, like, everyone got killed, but this is where all the bodies are buried or something? I guess. I don't have a clue. Hmm. Oh! Oh! It's all the people that were here. Are they all the staff? Or the kids? Staff and kids. They all look really old. 1946. Oh. So this was like about almost like over a decade ago then. Alright. Oh, when's it night time? I don't want it to be, but I'm not sure what else to do. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, have I not got a fuse here? I do. Right. Turn off the body camera. Give me that. Fantastic. Where's the light at? Turn on the light. I will, but I need to know what the light is. It doesn't look like a light. Where's the light? Light bulb. Not light bulb, but light switch. Where are you? In old buildings, where do they normally put light switches? That's the... How can I put the light switch on if that's freaking hanging off the bloody wall? Okay, so it's not in this room. There is a fuse box elsewhere. Where is my thing? So there's a fuse box. Here! There we go. The lights are on. Yay! Now we have power. Ah, and the radio's on too. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> That's creepy as shit! Uh, you know what? No, that's turning- that's getting turned off. No. No. <laughs> Fuck no. That's too- too scary. Okay. I think that music will just uh, bring the ghosts out. No, 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 no. Okay, uh, I want to see if there's anything else in this room that I may have missed. Like that. Okay. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Can I turn it? No, I can't. So, it seems like a fence or some sort of climbing frame. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, pretty. It's a little pocket watch. Yeah, little pocket watch. Oh, can I, oh, I wish I could take that. So I would know the time. I hate this thing. This is terrifying. Oh. Oh, oh what the fuck? <gasps> I never noticed that. Oh. That's creepy. Okay, uh, now I've got the lights on. Now what? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh. Hello? Why did I do this alone? Why why am I in here alone? Why can um, someone be with me <laughs> staying over at night? Oh! <gasps> oh, we're going to bed. Okay, so we, we'll sort the lights out. That means that we'll just, um, you know, keep the lights on all night. We don't have to worry about candles, right? Unless one of the ghosts takes the bloody um, <laughs> fuse. That suck. Night two. <gasps> Okay, the clock stopped at 3.07. Mm. Okay, my camera's sitting here. So... Okay. Is it 3.07 just now then? I'm guessing it is. Oh, right. Okay, so... Let's just check in here. Anything of interest? Doesn't seem like it. <gasps> the doors are shut this time. Okay. The fucking radio's on. Let's try again. <laughs> ah! Hello? Oh my god. <gasps> Look! A bunny! Oh. 
Shish. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll turn it on. What scared the shit out of me? I was too busy. To <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fucking gas mask! Jesus Christ! What the fuck is that? Hello? Oh my God! What the hell is she? What are you doing? Oh, why are you in there? Hello? Oh, 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 oh shit! <laughs> Oh, you piece of shit! <laughs> ah, no! What's in here? Whoa! Oh, damn! I'm actually shaking. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Freaking dead body dragged in a freaking vet. Dude, no. I hear his own breathing. Hello? Oh, don't do that. Don't crouch. I'll get you. Uh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, you've scared me, ghosts. Oh, it's too quiet. Oh, it's far too quiet. Can't I just go back to bed? <laughs> oh, no. Let's live in here, yes? <laughs> oh, I think the ghost lady was the lady in the picture. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't know. Oh, what's this? Ah, uh, have I? I don't know if I've read this, but. No, I have. I have. I have read that. I have read that. Uh. <laughs> this box wasn't here before. It's locked, so it'd be interesting to know what's inside. Oh, we need a key then. Where the hell are we going to find a key? I'm so frightened that someone's going to be like behind me when I turn around. Uh, a key, eh? Right. Oh, oh, no, no way! That door was closed! That door was open before and now it's closed! Uh, no, 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 no! Oh, don't break freaking things! Oh! I bet they fucked up my fuse box. There were spare light bulbs in the box. They broke down the bastards! They broke my light bulbs! <laughs> Fucking ghost breaking my shit. You breaking my stuff? Breaking my light bulbs that I used? Oh look, they ripped the box apart and everything. Oh no wait, they didn't. They didn't touch my light bulbs. Someone touched light bulbs though. I would never set foot in a place like this. Ever, ever, ever. I would want to, in theory, but in reality, no. Oh, the door's open now. And that door's closed. Oh wait, I was out there. I just came out of the room. <laughs> That door's open, and uh, sorry, this door is closed. And, oh, oh 
Oh shit. I, I don't know what the hell he was talking about the bulbs for. I don't recall seeing extra bulbs kicking about. But we'll um, take his word. He's living this nightmare. I am just observing through his eyeballs. Uh -huh. Okay, so I need a key. Where am I supposed to find some sort of key for the body box? I know, I want to know too. Can't we just smash it on the ground? That's what I would do. Find some sort of, um, I don't know, weapon? Tool? There's bloody- <gasps> Those are bloody footprints! Oh my god! I went over this body got dragged. And there was also breathing, so whatever it was, it got dragged into the vent. And the sheep, the, uh, the, not sheep, there was a pig carcass is what that was. And it's gone. Maybe that's what got dragged. Oh, maybe the ghost is hungry and it's want bacon. And it's like, I'll have bacon, thanks. And it dragged it away to fry it up. Okay, I don't know how to get a key, but I want to get a key. I want to get a key. I can't go back in that room. Is there any kind of way to get some sort of thing? Um, maybe I've brought something with me in my rucksack, perhaps. But I want to open the box. Is there anything here? Maybe someone's like got a key or something like that in their locker? Okay, I was quite curious, so I actually looked it up. It's the light bulb in here. <laughs> that is what burst. Um, so that's why he was meaning there's spare light bulbs. So my bad. I thought he was meaning that the ghost <laughs> destroyed the light bulbs, but no. Um, basically, the light bulb burst in the corridor. So we need to change the light bulb. How I do that is strange. Oh, it's this one, right? I see. There we go. I'm going to bring this down and something's going to be there. What's that? Uh oh. Hello? Oh. Water dripping. Oh! Oh! Uh oh. Hello? Why the fuck did it just abruptly stop? I don't want to turn around. I am so frightened to turn around. <gasps> you! Uh oh! What is this box? The box! Oh my god, something is above me. Neighbors are probably thinking, oh my god, I don't know. They're probably thinking I'm in a nutcase in here right now. <sighs> oh, right. So that was terrifying. Ah. Uh... Uh-uh. Fuck. I used to wait it turned down <laughs> Went round the other way <laughs> Stupid bunny, I knew the bunny was a bad guy Oh shit Oh we're gonna have to go and turn the freaking meter back on Oh You little shit <laughs> Someone's fucking breathing in there. Uh, we're just gonna have to follow this stupid bunny. Oh, there's footsteps. Oh, look, look, look! What's that? Footsteps and handprints. 
bloody ones. What if the doll, the, the plush bunny thing is possessed? Let me in. What if it, the bunny is possessed? And that's what's happened, that's how it killed all the kids and stuff. Like it possessed one of the kids and that's they went in a rampage. Oh god, that's god awful. Uh, it would be, but I don't really know. Uh, no. Oh god. Oh shit, it shut the door on me. Uh. Okay. This door's open now. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh! A key! <laughs> With this key I can open the box! <laughs> now I've got to go back in the corridor, don't I? <laughs> I don't want to. You know, if I was in this, I would be closing my eyes. Like, walking around. I don't want to, like, see anything at all. What's this? Dear Diary, Today is the annual opening day of my camp. I have been preparing for this for three years, so that this summer will be special for me. During these days, I will bring up real people in them, but they will also help me a lot. Okay. Night of 58, oh. Okay. And this must be the last night then, I'm guessing. After a severe thunderstorm, there is no light in the building. Ugh. What's this? Oh, it's a recorder! Oh, wait a second! This is... Oh, wait, no, it's a flashlight! This is how the classroom used to look back in the day! Oh! Okay, so we went back in time, I see, okay. Oh, what's this? The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He needs a heart transplant only. Uh, sorry, he needs a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I'll heal my son myself no matter what it takes. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to work. If he needs a heart transplant, he's going to have to be on a waiting list, right? And that sounds very serious. Okay, nothing of interest. I take it I can't touch that. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing I'm the teacher, the lady that was in the picture. What if I'm the killer? Oh, I bet that's what it is. What if she is actually the killer and killed all these kids? Oh my god, if that is the case, if that actually is the case, what if she killed all the kids for a heart transplant? to take a heart for her son. Oh, I bet that's what it is. Oh, this looks even more creepy when it's like normal because I've seen it all sh like in shambles, but I feel like it's more creepy now. Creepier than it was. Oh look, an old timey scale. What does it go up to? 140, is that all? Oh my god. Oh, that tricycle is creepy. Well, it seems like this is... I don't know, just... weird. Oh! What broke? What, what the fuck? So children and caregivers are sleeping now, but something smashed. Oh, the door! The desk! The door! <laughs> the desk! Oh, look, a picture! Well, I can't look at that, but oh. 
Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hide her, hide her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. So I'm guessing the director is the one that's like obviously in charge of the whole school or camp or whatever. And maybe that's who I am right now. I'm guessing. And I'm guessing it's the lady that we've seen a picture of at the beginning. And I think it was in night one. And it was in the bathroom. I think that's what that is. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. The key to the safe. Where's the safe? Now, no one can give me a fright now. There's no ghost now. I mean, it's normal. No one's dead. <gasps> you filthy child. What? Why did you say that? Is something happened? I didn't even notice if something happened. Where's the safe? And why is she calling them a filthy child when she's supposed to be looking after them? That's not good. Let's go in this room because I've not been there. That's creepy. I don't like it. Okay. Where the hell is the safe? Shh, be quiet! Oh, it's here. Oh my bad. Uh, move chair. <laughs> Put up the chair in. We worked together with Alexei Shergovich. Oh, and by the way, I, if, if you're a Russian, I'm very sorry if I pronounce any of these names incorrectly. Um, so I met him in an orphanage, then I acted careless, carelessly and received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys. <gasps> Oh, they're stealing organs. Oh shit, so they're like getting a black market. That's the thing. That's what I'm saying. I think that um, their kids are being killed for this child, the, the, her daughter. Uh, sorry, son. The son. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys and Alexei Shergovich will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set an up uh, accident and no one will look for him. Oh my god, so the girl that we've seen at the candles, she probably is the one that was helping the boy and that must have been her music box with the key in it and she sent him a, no sorry, I think Yakov sent her that little one message we just seen and he's saying to be careful because her name was Anna, so I think it's between Anna and Yakov, that's the kids we've been seen kicking about. What's the deal with the bunny then? A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives. Easy pickings then. And he became my favourite because he's so similar to my son Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Shurgovich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfil our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counsellors put them to bed. This can distract them. Oh my god. That's, oh, that's so creepy. I need to spray sleeping bag gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. Oh my god. That is god awful. Jesus. I'll take that then apparently and the gas mask so I don't get taken to the surgery. The filter is missing and the glass is broken. Oh, well I can't take it at all. He ruined my gas mask! I... the... uh... It was the teachers killed the kids. Oh my god. So, that was the, the ghost then that we seen when it was someone just standing there. Yeah, that's what it'll be. I need to put the gas under the door and go back to the classroom. Oh, I heard something move and then something I don't know. Okay. This teacher's horrible.
Uh oh. Why is the air raid siren going off? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Who the shit are you? <laughs> Hello? That is so odd. What the what the hell? All right. Okay. Well, we'll just take the camera. My little <gasps> Maria's diary. Is that what we just read though? Yeah, we just read that. I my little English dictionary. But I can't take it with me. A pen. Oh. Okay. So she killed the kids, and then she was killing the kids with the the gas thing, or not killing them, but she was knocking them out and the caregivers to take the kids to surgery and then um, from that she was the air raid siren went off and then the, it was a guy with a gas mask on and wouldn't let me out of the room oh. you were told to get out of here leave this place alone yeah, well tough shit there are empty pages left in Mira's diary, you can use them to answer I hear him standing outside the door It's thought there's someone behind it. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. So that'd be the boy. That'd be the uh, Yakov, then, I'm guessing. So, okay, we're just going to go through all the clues again. So, an investigation underwent the disappearance of the children employees of the Yonos Pioneer Camp, which was opened in 1955, under the leadership of director Maria, which is, we've just found out she's a bad bitch, in a bad way. The suspect in this case is a child living in the camp. His name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims is found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is is not known. Okay, so he is the one that she wanted to put the, get the heart transplant was for her son. And... We need to know what happened to everybody, and especially happened to him, too. Okay, um, so I need to find some more remains of the diary, I guess. Is that one? Yes! You need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Say three times, barefoot lady, show me my fate and I will give my shoes in return. Okay, so I need to pick up a small mirror and stand in front of a large one to make a corridor. Oh, right. Okay, that's kind of cool, but I don't have a small mirror and I don't know where to find one. We do, we did have like lots of photos, but I don't think that will help. I don't think, oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, we've already, oh, take that. Yes, okay, excellent. So we need to get all the stuff that we found before, like pictures and stuff like that. And I think that's going to help. And I'm guessing the bunny, why, oh. 1955, opening of the youth children's camp. Okay, so we take that as well. Um, yes, I think the bunny and the reason why it's wandering around is Yakov's rabbit and he's possessing it. I guess so. Um, right, I think we need to get the, all the photos that we've found so far. What if he did not die? And he escaped, but he lives here, and that's why there's been a pig carcass and um, dead birds uh, around. What if that is what that is, and he actually lives here? What if that is the case? That'd be kind of cool. And sad. Not really cool. Sad as hell. There's the cat. That's what I'm saying. There's a dead pig carcass, a dead cat, dead birds. Like, I feel like the only person that would be having those kind of things would either be a murderer in training, or somebody that's living here alone, like alone, and e eating them, I guess, is the only thing I can think of. Because I don't think they just come in here, unless they came in here to die, but I don't know because I don't think the pig carcass would look like that if a pig came in or die, and that'd be kind of random as hell, and I don't think pigs do that. I think they just kind of. They don't do a cat thing where they just bugger off and go die alone elsewhere. I think a pig just kind of drops down. I guess I don't freaking know. I've not really seen that shit happen. Okay, um, I can't find any more pictures but you won't let me in. 
There's one. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. Oh wait, that's what we uh, read before. She did not wash and did not go to the river. One day the older girls decided to laugh or tied her hands and poured water over her. I bet this one was the one that was suspended from the ceiling. Do you remember when we went into the bathroom and um, she was like hanging above there? It was like blood. What if that's what that was? Because there's like water and she's frightened of it. That could be the case. After that, after that, yeah, yeah, um, it's, it couldn't find her for many days and said that she was dead, but one that she came back in her pyjamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon, so that's who that was, so, yeah, that's, that's her. Yeah, that was actually really scary. That gave me a massive fright. I knew there was something above, but it still gave me a fright, though. I really want to go in there. I really want to go in here, and I don't like the fact I can't. Okay, I think we've got all the pictures and I think it was to do with just, um, you know, the playground and everything. So let's see if we can get in here yet. I was scared and I didn't know it would end there. I trusted her, my friend Anna. I'm sorry for not being able to stop this. Oh. So Anna is a wee girl and Yakov is a boy, like I was saying. So in 1958, towards the end of summer, our parents called the camp to find out if everything was alright with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All locals helped in search of the missing children, but all in vain. So, what if actually what happened is, you know how the guy, like, ambushed the director and there was, like, an airway thing? What if they came and they took the children to do experiments on? What if that's actually where they went because they just disappeared? And the parents had no clue, like no one was answering, so everybody was gone, like the caretakers, everybody. Okay, I was just curious again, so I looked it up, and I'm to take the diary. Oh. Okay. I know what happens here. Let me help you. Tell me who you are. Uh, sorry, tell me who are you. Oh my god, yes, we can give it to the ghost! Oh, yes! Oh, that's... It's on the way from the bloody door. It's creepy, the fact that that's doing that. Oh, shit. Oh! You! Bunny rabbit. I hate her just watches. No! Oh! Fuck! <laughs> I haven't had that jump scare in a while, so that was terrifying. So try writing the letter again. Very well. The diary's gone. Uh. Oh, right. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. <laughs> we're just going to antagonise the bloody thing. It's the fact it's like... Oh, it's so blood chilling and scary. <laughs> Don't ring the phone again, I'll know it's you. Quiet. I want to cover my eyes and I, I, I'm so scared right now. It's the fact there's nothing. There's not even like... Oh! Thanks! See if you like open that door right now I'm gonna batter you. <laughs> I was accused but I didn't do it. Get it off here. Oh, but I'll help you. Oh my god, it's kind of like... No. Get away, creepy kid. Oh. You know what it's kind of like? Um, <laughs> it's like Tom Riddle on Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm just like sending notes in the diary. Let's do it again. <laughs> do you know anything about the Chamber of Secrets? <laughs> Imagine if he wrote back and said, yes. Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Hello? Oh, 
I just realised what I just said. <laughs> Reading out the thing. Yeah, what if that's what it is? What if he is actually alive and he is not, like, you know, it's been what? It happened in 58? Okay, it's like very long time, like we've got a video camera and everything. Uh. Hello? I want to know what's in that other room. And uh, damn, I want to know. Come on, hurry up. Yeah. Tom Riddle wrote back. Cheers. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things. That's really sad. But my friends help me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live here and those people will come for me. So they were kidnapped. Oh no. Ah, why are you knocking on the door? Don't knock on the door, dude. It's not 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 nice. What do we do now? Do we reply with the more Oh Hey bunny don't kill me. How does that work though? Who are your friends? Why are they here too? What if the bunny just jumped up and like, came, like tried to strangle me? <laughs> That'd suck. I love how we're just like passing messages back and forth. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I wonder if he's like sitting on the bed each time because every time he gets up to collect the diary entry, or the, sorry like well, the bit of paper. He, um, it's like he gets off the bed and like wander, like wanders over. Oh, well, thank you. The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was a person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. So it's that Alexei sure sure from off of the, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name but that guy that she was talking about who was going to the operation I think he just took them all for experiments because he's a psychopath can I come in yet or we're still writing notes <laughs> oh shit oh the bunny went away again what's in that water yeah it's weird all this was planned by the director of the camp. What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? A crazy man who likes to operate on people. Ah ha ha! No! <laughs> you can fig off! I'm gonna put this under here. See if I turn around and he's like inside, I'm gonna freaking. Ugh! Oh no! Wait a second, are we up? We're up pretty high, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, hello! It's all her. Oh, that's a very long note. It's all her. I saw her direct. I saw her director talking to someone in the old hospital, in, in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realised it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went into the building, and found no one. But her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hid in the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation, only sometimes go to the rooms. Oh, so so basically he went and hid at night and then he, in the morning he no, everyone was gone. Oh my god. Oh, that's so sad. That's such a shame. Like, from the mum, the director's perspective, she's obviously worried about her child, but the way she was going about it was quite insane. That building abandoned. Can I get there? Oh, are we going to go elsewhere? Cool. I 
I wonder how old he is as well, because if this happened in summer 58, and what year would it be for us right now? We have a video camera, so possibly the 2000s. Oh shit. He's listening to the music box. Yakov didn't ans doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. We need to turn the boards off the front door. Ah, that's what that is. Right, okay, that's the front door. I get it, okay. So we're going to go to the abandoned hospital. Oh, it's so free! Oh, night free, okay. <laughs> so we'll be wandering around there, I guess. Oh, this is going to be frightening. Oh. Yakov said I could find proof here. Let's take a look around and um, we'll take this and our little Russian English <laughs> Fuck <laughs> ah, He just blew out the candle out of the boot and jumped in my skin Oh Right, let's take a look around shall we? Can't get through there. Alright Right. We can't get through there. Okay, okay. And then here we can't go through there either. Okay, so this seems to be the only door we can go. We can't get through there either. How am I supposed to find proof in a hospital that I can't get through? Oh, this is this is not fun. Let's leave <laughs> and tell them we, uh, we found stuff. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay, I can't really click on these newspapers. I'm wondering if that's like actual noises off the hospital. Like, you know, peeling off the paint, you know, creaky doors. Oh! Are ghosts? I think ghosts. Me think ghosts. Yes, yes, yes. Ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Stream catcher. But how am I supposed to get through? Yakov, you live here. Help me out. <laughs> I hate knocking, I hate knocking so much. <gasps> uh -huh. Go away. Oh! Whoa, what the fuck? What? Whoa! whoa. How the hell? Oh, that's creepy, I don't like that. 1946. After the war, dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans worked under the leadership of the military. I don't like this. It's actually making my skin crawl. I don't like it. I still can't get in there. Oh god, no way! I don't even want to go in the air there. This is not fun. Mm. So, uh, so okay. Oh God. Uh, see all you people that go to these abandoned hospitals, abandoned schools, like for ghost hunting. I do not envy you at all. Like, I have fun, but I'm not getting invited ever. Oh god, that is terrifying. Oh shit. You know what that looks like? Sid from um, 
Toy Story, the first one, and he has all those creepy toys that he makes himself. That's what would belong in his room, for sure. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. The director did not know about this, but he could not- she totally did. But he could not continue to lead his position. The orphanage was closed, the building became abandoned. So that's probably what happened well before, I'm sure, because I'm, I'm sure it mentioned the orphanage before. Great, now that door's closed. Are they locked? They f oh no, it's not locked. Me in. Okay, the door's there, thank Christ. Is there any more articles that I can read? So I think the, the doctor guy is one haunting this place. Oh, it's so horrifying. This is like a really fun game, by the way, but it is so scary. I'm so frightened. Which is what it's supposed to do. The door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all chains and find them when the evidence is hidden. Sure, cool. We'll go get that then. <laughs> I knew that something was going to happen, but I still got a bloody fright. Stupid child. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Oh my god, I'd sit and cry. Oh, I'd be sitting crying. Oh, Jesus. And it's a shame because this will be like helpful against ghosts, this weapon. I'll try it in this door as well, just get them all opened. Right, what if I can use it on this? Maybe. Oh, putting the wardrobe in front of that door. Fine. It's very messy in here. Someone should really tidy it up. Oh, the moldy fridge. Okay. Uh. Nothing. Nothing here. Oh, a note. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son Ivan. I was look at, lucky that Alexei Shurgovich agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. Yeah, I I do understand from the mom's perspective and like how. She, excuse me. I am trying to talk. Rude ghost. Um. I understand from like her perspective and the fact is like she's really worried about her son. You can go to extreme lengths and stuff like that for some like a child's someone you love, things like that. Um But my god you know killing kids in order to make sure your kid's okay, it's very grim. Very, very grim. Okay, um I think I'm gonna check this room first and then I'm gonna go in that other room. <laughs> Fuck that, no. <laughs> Slam the door in that shit. I don't even know where that came from. What if I'm going to it? Oh. was but the f something the battery is dead oh wait a minute this seems like a, a good room to check out we'll go to the other creepy room first yeah yeah we'll come in here first there's a note again I feel like someone else has got a grinder thing as well and they're like thinking off the chains too. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman. More like a silhouette or shadow. 
She went into the closet. Huh. Why? Why did she go in the closet? I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true or maybe it's just my imagination, which is sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. What if that's where they're hiding the bodies? I know this is completely like crazy thought but what if that wardrobe has like a hidden room behind it like a secret room and that's where the the laboratory was where he would like do illegal organ trafficking so you'd have to go through the wardrobe into there kind of like a very grim version of the lion the witch in the wardrobe you know Oy. if i turn around and someone's there i'm gonna like launch something at this freaking monitor there's a creepy baby thing in this room Oh, the wardrobe came with me. Shit. Go away. Oh, wait. There's another wardrobe. Oh, they're just everywhere. Someone has lots of clothes and dead bodies and skeletons in their closet. Right, we're going in this creepy ass room. Okay. Oh, this will be all where all the operations were getting done, I think. Oh, the forceps. This way is the way to go. <laughs> Just read the note. Just read the note. Screw it. <laughs> I didn't have time to save him. I don't believe it. This can't be happening. This is not my Van Ishka. I'll save him. I need to find a doctor urgently. A, do a donor urgently. What the fuck? Oh my god, look, there's like. Oh, is this for women in labour? Oh my god. Uh oh. Oh, it's like all the noises of, you know, all the operations done in here. It must be, yeah, this must be like where they have the babies and stuff because there's the forceps there and then obviously the stirrups and stuff like on the bed. I think that's what they're called. Oh my god, this is creepy as shit. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. I want to open the wardrobe. I want to know what's in the wardrobe. I don't like the noises in here. It is too creepy. Oh, what's this? Okay, cool. I don't like looking up. Oh god, no. Okay, it, I've got wire cutters. I don't know why though. <sighs> oh, this is making me feel all funny. Oh, look, the wardrobe fucking went away, I guess. <laughs> god! <laughs> no! Why can't I go in here? Uh oh. Okay, I can't get. Oh, now it opens. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, the baby! <laughs> Stop it! Oh, there's that creepy freaking thing. No. A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. Oh, okay. Oh god. No. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. 
<gasps> oh my god, the corridor's bigger this time. Oh fuck no. Oh shit, I'm on this side. Oh my god, that's where that woman was. And why is that cross upside down? Let's go sideways. Oh, we can. Ah, oh, I can't move. Oh, is it all satanic? Like, oh shit. Oh shit. I don't want to go in there. Oh, I do not want to go in there. Look at all the bloody bodies. <gasps> I bet that's the director woman. She has been binded and hung. Someone did that to her. Why are we in here? Oh god, we have to go in to get the note. There's babies. Oh my god, they're all kids' bodies. Oh, I don't like that. You know what's the worst thing ever is when they've got a a blanket on them or something. It just reminds me of the conjuring at the, when she's in the basement and oh Jesus Christ. Mm. How had her body not come decomposed after all these years? I don't fucking know. Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me and I'm not gonna take I'm not just gonna leave, I'll be back. What she meant by that oh god Oh god, now I'm trapped in here. Look, I'm sorry that no one could help you, but... It's grim. I'm sorry. Oh. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei Shurgovich, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question, and who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else, the death certificate document that is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality, poor woman. So the boy was already dead. Oh my god, she, he was already dead and then she was just went ins insane with it. It's kind of like when I was playing the other game, Pumpkin Eater, when the mum went insane and she was like trying to keep the boy alive even though he wasn't. Oh, damn. Oh, that's, that's so sad. So, is this his one? I must be. Oh, can we take that for protection? <laughs> So maybe this was put in here for protection symbols because she would basically put a curse. Oh, what am I supposed to do now? My toes are curling up with so much like fear that I've got cramp in my foot. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, what am I supposed to do? Oh wait, hang on a sec. Oh. Oh. Hello, feet. I need to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, fucking bolt. Oh shit! Oh. Yeah, let's get, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Can I take my bag? No, I'll fucking leave the bag. Oh, <gasps> three weeks later, I returned. Why? <laughs> To, oh, maybe to tell Ivan. Eh, not Ivan, sorry, Yakov. Yakov. Oh, it's all boarded up again. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of ever everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Martin. So, he must be an old man then. 
I'm glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live and they'll have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. You know what? That sounds really cool and I hope this means there's going to be another game if that's what's meaning to this because that'd be really freaking awesome. Okay everybody, that is the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed that. It's watching me getting frightened and <laughs> hope you got a fright yourselves and had a good wee chuckle. Um, but until next time, I'll catch you later. Bye for now.